Hi, everybody. Come on in. Come on and join us for exciting life. <laughs> Christian Center Radio Show. Hey, man, I'm coming on in a few minutes. We're so glad to always invite you for 15 minutes of encouragement. So we're always so happy to have you join us. So come on in. Come on in. This is a day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice. And be glad they're in. Amen. This get their inspiration from 1440 AM. Reborn. WMKM. 1440. You deserve to live as the day. WMKM. Come on, join us. Shall be free. I am so excited to, you by to share a out. word with you. Everybody. Dr. L.J. Banks and Evangelist Lisa and Benderson. We are on Saturday. So listen, my friend. I've got some good WMKM news for you. And guess what? That good news is Jesus loved you. And guess what else? He always has your back. Amen. You may write up. You will always make a way out of no way. <laughs> And he's got some surprise blessings coming in. And Lord, I'll take one of those good surprise blessings. Amen. Amen. But he's still a healer. He is still a deliverer. He's still. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on yes. and join us. And welcome to another edition of Exciting Life Broadcast with your host, of yes. course, Dr. Pastor Darling Bell and... Yay, yay, yay. Yes. Amen. Well, listen, my friend, yes, we, we want you to uh, get your Bibles, get your iPads, and take notes, but this yeah, is going to be a 15-minute yeah. of encouragement to you. Amen. Yeah. And listen, I just want to uh, quickly invite you to watch Darlene and Sarah Gospel Spectacular TV show every Sunday. Amen. On Comcast, yeah. Yeah. Detroit, 6.30 p.m. or East Oakland or Ann Macomb County's 8 o'clock a.m. Channel 90. And guess what? Daily on Bell Global Network. That's BGN TV Gospel.com. So come on and watch the show. Tune in and be blessed. Well, listen, Pastor Sierra, why don't you get the word started for the for today? Is there a word for the people of God? Yes. Come on, Pastor oh, Sierra. Been, you know, I've been teaching on this for a while. You know, watch the words coming from your mouth. Set a guard over your mouth or anybody else's mouth. Because the word that you can give, you can build others or build yourself in the name of Jesus. Uh, idle words are not from God. They yes. You, uh, 12. You no, know, it's not uh, 36 and 37. You know, and my friend, you know, God wants you to be happy. Yes. He wants you to be, you know, he does. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be living in a state of, of gladness, happiness, joy, uh, prosperity, uh, where we can have favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And I wow. know I say, you guys may say, well, we've heard this before. We're you going to hear it again because it needs to really sink in your brain. Don't let anybody. Yes. Anybody Nobody speak nothing over you except for a tree of life. They're not speaking life over you, baby. No, 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 no. Let me tell you something. Proverbs 16, 24, 4 says, pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Yes. Now, we all, you all know what a honeycomb is? Well, let me explain it. Mm -hmm. A honeycomb is something that's sugar and it's sweet. Yes. 
and it's very tasteful. Mm. But that's what pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Not nothing sour, disruptive, and whatever. And sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Read Proverbs 16 and 24. Not what goes out, out of the mouth, but what comes out of the whole thing. Yes. So don't let, I just want to uh, 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 just encourage you to say, don't let anything that's not encouraging to you come out of your mouth or anybody else's mouth. But why don't you speak out of your mouth too, see? You know, because you want to have honeycomb words coming out of your mouth. Amen and amen. Amen. Uh, how Drake Bell Rock would say, what a good word. What a good word. God bless you, Mary yeah. Anna Elliott. My oldest daughter has joined us. God bless you. Hey, uh, Evangelist baby, baby, baby. Sarah Bell is hey, in the midst. <laughs> happy birthday, Mary Anna. I, I had wish you a happy birthday on the church flow, but she's the birthday girl. Woo amen. But wait a minute, who's coming up on the 18th? Ah, Saturday, oh. Pastor Darling. I am so excited, too. Oh, y'all look July, baby. So I know. July, baby. Yeah. yeah, and happy belated birthday to Angela on the 8th. Pre-happy birthday to Yolanda. Hey. My daughter-in-law on the 23rd, as Evangelist Sarah, 27. But I'll give them as we go along. <laughs> And I want to say a uh, yeah. shout out to Charlotte Holland. It was so nice. I listened to her show yesterday and she gave us all the July birthday shout out. So Charlotte, if you're seeing this now or later, thank you for that. It was so sweet and nice. God yeah. bless you, Sean Courtney's in the house. Hey, Amen. Well, listen, Pastor Sarah, that was such a good word that you gave. You talked about the words because what we speak is not optional. It is mandatory. My friends, you cannot have a fountain of bitter and sweet coming out of your mouth all at the same time. And don't dare negate. You know, I believe for this, Lord. I believe I receive. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I know it's done. Then, oh, Lord, I'm taking all these burdens to the to the altar. And then when you get up from the altar, wait a minute, let me get these burdens back. And I know it wasn't nothing to it. No, no, stay firm. Stay firm in your confession. So thank you for that reminder, Pastor Sarah. Yeah. And just to add a little bit of cherry to that cake that was already baked. I'm in the Amplified Version, and it says, we are assured and know. You know, the uh, King James Version saying, we know all things work together for good to those that love the Lord. I don't care what it, you, you see. I don't care what you smell. I don't care what it tastes like. That's when faith kicks in. And yeah. you have to say, decree and declare. You know what? I may not understand. Woo, glory. But this is working for my good. That's where those good words come in. And I'm going to amplify it. It says, we are sure and know that God being a partner in their labor, all things work together and are fitting into a plan. My friend, God has a plan for you. You're not just haphazardly uh, put here on this earth. No, God has a perfect plan, perfectly fit for you. So trust, like Marietta say, trust the process. And then it says, is working yeah, for yeah, those who yeah. love God called according to his design and purpose. 29 says for those whom he foreknew of whom he was aware who glory and loved beforehand. He also destined from the beginning for ordaining them to be molded into the image. My friend, you just get a little molding done on you. That's all. You know, a potter shapes up the clay. Oh my, but oh Jesus, when it is finished, <laughs> it is so glossy, it is so beautiful. So God, the potter just working on you and say, Lord, work on me. Glory to God. I'm going to read a little bit more, Pastor Sarah. I'm going to pass this baton on because I'm telling you, I'm feeling the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. He molded into his image, his son, uh, shared inwardly in the likeness that he might become the firstborn among many brethren. My yeah. friend, we are heirs and joint heirs of Jesus Christ. Come on, Pastor Sarah. Oh, wait a minute. Let me give some more shout outs. God bless you. Nicole Gilbert has joined us. Julie Jackson Ward, yeah. pastor, has joined us. Amen. Amen. Nicole, Nicole said just a little molding. Come on, Pastor Sarah. Woo. Well, you know, I. I need a problem in your 
whole mouth. <laughs> the other day I was at the urinary, nothing to me, I'm popping in your mouth. And that's what sometimes we need in the spirit room to be popped. Uh-huh. If our tongues get loose, and my tongue was hearing that, they were going to go from the spirit room. Yes. On positive stuff. Don't let anybody. Yes. Anything ungodly over you. Nothing on nobody. Not even yourself. Yes. Amen. 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 You know what, um, Pastor, I know it's not 100% near the end of the show, but I want to give the prayer of salvation now. My friend, somebody is listening right now, right now, right now. You need to come to the Lord. And it's just so simple, according to Romans 10, 9 to 10, that simply says, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So pray this prayer, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I believe that Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus Christ. He's the son of God. He is. He died on the cross for me. He died on the cross for me. He arose again. He arose again. God raised him from the dead for me. God raised him from the dead for me. He is alive. He is alive. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Come in my heart and please save me. Come in and save me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For washing away all my sins. For washing away all my sins. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Woo! Now, Lord. Now, Lord. You're my Lord. You are my Lord. My Savior. My Savior. And my Master. And my Master. According to your word. According to you. I'm right now born again. I'm right now born again. Amen. We thank you for the souls. Amen. Amen. We thank you for the souls that have so blessed you as being Lord, Master, Savior of their lives. Oh, Lord, you are so good. You are an awesome God. Yes. And thank you for cultivating us in the things of you. Lord, we thank you for your mercy, your grace, your own. Yes. Oh, God. In the mighty name of you. And Father, I ask you for a special blessing to all those that are on the air tonight. Bless them. Bless. Bless. Of all they can even ask for. Yes. We love you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen, my friend, I want to give a shout out to my co-laborers in the Lord who are my children. Antonio, Anto, Yolanda China, Marietta, Ron, Samia, Naya, Elena, Sophia, and little Brandon Giselle, the little baby born away, Dre Bell Rock, and Evangelist. Sarah and Exciting Life Christian Center members and supporters and everybody that's on here now. We just love you so much. Well, Pastor Sarah, we're just going to talk to our ending. Come on up. Anything else you want to share with the people of God? Yes. And I'm going to keep saying it's the word. That prayer is out of people. Good. And loving. Because God loves us all so, 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 so much. Amen and amen. Amen, my friend. Words are such a blessing when you have your words, you know, just seasoned with a little salt and seasoned with God's word. God bless you, Bri and my queen. You know, you have God's word, your tongue just in line with the word of God. And know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do everything. He has a plan for you. Yeah. I like what Jeremiah 1 and 5 said. He said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Yeah, so right. listen, my friend, if you don't you ever, ever doubt. God knows you. All things are going to work together for good uh, according to his purpose. He's he just, he just kind of, you know, processing you. 
uh, trust the process, trust the walk, in all your ways acknowledge him, he will definitely direct your path. And I'm telling you, greater is coming. You know, I said earlier when I first opened up, I said, God's got some surprise, good, juicy blessings for his people. Anything else you want to share, Pastor Sarah? Yeah. Guess what he said? Surprise blessing. I receive it too, God. Amen. Overflow. Amen. Don't you ever give up. That's listening right now or later. Don't you ever just look in the natural. You look to the Lord from what's coming. Your help. Your help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Pastor Sarah. I'm telling you, that is so perfect. Your help comes from the Lord. Big time. Thank you, the Lord made and created the earth. You think he's going to leave his children? I don't think so. He has been the blessing of the He has amen well listen once again this has been pastor dr darling bell and amen my friend we are going to be back next week we love you and just let's praise our way on to the out of this show thank you jesus glory to you god yes god is good Bye bye. Exciting life with your hosts Darlene and Sarah, and Minister Derek, Mister Dressa Taylor. We would like you to tune in each and every Wednesday at the seven thirty p.m. right here on AM fourteen forty. Amen. God bless everybody. I will be back. I will put the time on what time the praise break. You, I'm going to have one. Not sure of the time, but God bless you. Thank you all again for tuning in our Facebook family and friends. Marietta Elliott. Happy birthday again, Marietta. Amen. My oldest daughter, Sarah Evangelist Sarah Bell. God bless you, Evangelist Sarah. Sean Courtney. God bless you, Sean Courtney. Nicole Gilbert. God bless you, Julie Jackson Warpath. Pastor, God bless you. Hallelujah. Brianne McQueen, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Evangelist Sarah says, Amen. I'll be back. God bless you. And know God is just working for your good. Everything. Help me say everything. Come on. Everything is going to be all right. I love you. God loves you more. Amen. God bless you, Sarah. I'll give you a good wave. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Nicole Gilbert. She says, God bless you too, Pastor. Woo, thank you all so much. I look forward to our party. Praise party. God bless you all.